to more tools over to extensions click into extensions the three straight lines click into the three straight lines type in Google translate Add Google Translate. It can read and change all your data on the websites you visit. So we want to add the extension. You will see it appear on the top of your browser in with your other extensions. Google Translate has been added to Chrome. Use this extension by clicking on this icon. Now before we do that, we are going to go into Options. My primary language is English. You can choose your language here. This is what your primary language is. There is many languages that you can choose from. When I select a word or phrase, this is what I want to happen. Display an icon that I click to show a pop-up, immediately display a pop-up or don't display an icon or a pop-up. So display icon that I can click to show pop-up or immediately display pop-up and then save. Option saved. This can read and change site data. Number one, when you click on the extension or on all sites. I have on all sites. So you make sure you click all on all sites. So now let's just go to an example here. Translate. 
So I'm going to choose detect the language and I'm just going to type in have a wonderful day. Now I'm going to choose a language to translate it into, say it's Arabic. So there it's now changed into Arabic. Now if you want to use the Google Translate browser, you click on that and you will see a pop-up come up. It'll say translate this page. If you click on translate this page, then automatically you will see translation in progress. So you're translating English, translated to English. So now we have have a nice day have a nice day is now translated to English. If we want to translate it to a, another language, let's try Hindi. Have a nice day will now be translated to Hindi. Have a wonderful day will now be translated. If you wanted to translate it to German and it not only translates what's in the box here but it will translate your full page. You can see now in German. Okay, so this is one example. Here's another one. I'm going over to Facebook. To my, my actual chat for the serious YouTube. So I'm here over at Messenger on my laptop, and this is my my uh, Facebook serious YouTube chat. I have people in here who speak different languages. So here is an example. I would like to translate this page. Always translate to English. So now everything on my page is going to be translated to English.
So now I am translating my page on Messenger to English. Translate this page, options, change the language. So the page language is going to be detect the language. And I want it change to English. Translate. Okay, so do you see how this has changed now? I can now read this, buy the minimum pack at the lowest price and why late now only in a Bangla link. Okay, so this is one that I was not able to read before. Okay, so do you see how everything now has changed to English? Everything that is typed is changed to English. Okay? Now, if I wanted to change it to another language, you see how that's changing to English? Now, say you were Hindi and you wanted everything to change to Hindi. So we're going to go back into translate this page. Options. Change languages. The page language is English and now we are changing it to Hindi. Translate. Now, you have to take the time you have to take the time to do the translation and it depends on the speed of your computer. There you go. So now people who are Hindi can now read this information here. So let's now look. Everything that is written will be changed.
I am waiting for the whole translation to come in. You see how it's come in at the top there and at the sides and right over here in the actual chat. I'm just waiting for this. This is what it looks like in Arabic. Okay, so there it has now come in completely in Hindi. So, and do you see the power in being able to understand other languages? Now this is using the computer. You can also use your cell phone as well. So I'm down at uh, canva.com and I'm just working on making some thumbnails and video cards and I notice that I can also use the Google Translate in here. So let's go to this icon here in the browser and in this pop-up box right here above translate this page and just click in translate. If you just want to get a little bit of text translated Translated to English. Now we are going to translate it to another language. Let's go with. Hindi Now you can't flip through these languages too fast or you'll end up with your computer freezing Arabic. Oops. Now you can go to and translate it into your own language. Well, there you go. This is the last thing that I'm going to do to show you how the translate works. This is at the DIY community information that I put out to my community. I try to put it out daily. And now we're going to go to the translate up here. Click on that. It says here always translate in English. So I'm just going to change just going to change the language. Okay, so going to change it to Indonesian because I am looking at a channel right here. So I'm looking at this channel here. It says Balada Indonesia. Now I, I guess that's a place. 
So anyways, I'm going to translate this. This is now being translated into Indonesian. This is just to show you what is available to you. If you and it's not something that happens in milliseconds. It may take a couple of minutes for it to actually translate the page. You see it's already started, but it hasn't finished yet. This is in Indonesian. Now we're going to change it again. So if you're having a problem reading the information that I put out, see when I look at this, I don't understand it. So I cannot expect you to understand English if you don't read English. The same way as I don't understand Indonesian because I can't read Indonesian. Okay, so I'm just going to change the language. Now you have to be careful because when you are changing your languages around, you need to always make sure that you put it back to where you want it. So say I am Indonesian now and I'm going to the Google Translate. I hope this has been helpful and another way for you to be able to grow your online presence using any type of free application or what's available to you. And the Google Translate is a very good tool to have in order to understand different languages. Sharing knowledge is free and we can all work together to build a community of like-minded people who are willing and able to help each other grow online.